Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to optimize product images for Shopify. Let's get into it. Hey, I wanna thank you for consuming our content. That really means a lot to us. Uh, this year, we actually turned five years old and that's a big deal for us. So in celebration of our five year anniversary, we are giving away over $10,000 worth of freebies uh, and our swipe file of different ads, landing pages, graphics that we've created over the years. Uh, the contest is free to enter. Uh, we'll be drawing a name on February 11th. You can find out more information by going to contest.bitbranding.co uh, for more information on how your business can benefit uh, from all these great deals. Okay, now back to your regularly scheduled content. You have really two options here. First, you can go to apps and you can go to the app store and you can find some sort of app that will help you uh, resize these images. Um, I believe Crush Picks is a good one. Um, image optimizer and compression. They do have a free plan. Um, so I would say if you have a lot of products in your store and you want an easy way to do that, then I would go this route. Um, if not, then I wouldn't add more bulk and code to your store that's unnecessary. So the second option would be to use something like bulkresizephotos.com. Um, this allows you to just drag and drop images in there. And the good thing about this is that, for example, if I do choose images, I'm gonna click on this bone image. Um, I can actually click on file size and I can specify the actual kilobytes that I want um, this image to be. So it, typically when you take uh, pictures with your iPhone or a professional camera, uh, these photos are gonna be megabytes. <laughs> um, so if you have some external person doing the photography, you can actually ask them to get you images that are less than 200 kilobytes. Um, that's usually what's recommended. Uh, if you have less than that and the images still looks really good, then that's even better for you. Um, but typically you wanna do less than 200 kilobytes per photo. Um, but you can also, if they don't provide that, the photographer or professional services don't provide that, or if you're taking your own product images with your iPhone, or maybe you bought uh, some sort of DSLR camera, then uh, you will have to do something like this. Bulk resize photos, it's free, it's easy. Um, and in here, you can actually specify the, the actual file size that you want. Um, you basically hit start and download the picture, and you wanna upload that picture into your product. So I'm gonna go to products and go to this one <clears throat> and then in here you see like I have that picture in there um, it's already been optimized um, as far as file size so that's the number one thing that you want to do is make sure that your file size is somewhat manageable you're not into the megabytes you're into the 200 kilobytes or less um, another big thing that you can do here and I would recommend everyone to do is add multiple images adding multiple images will allow you to uh, have a better user experience um, and then you can also add alt text to these images. You can add different alt text to the images um, just to kind of get a few more keywords in there as far as SEO. So if we click on this image, we're able to see some information about the image. And then down here at the uh, left bottom uh, corner, we have crop and rotate. You can actually draw. So if there's, let's say like a red circle or some for some reason on this image, you can actually make a little quick fix on that. Um, you can also resize the image, but not in the sense of file size, like we did earlier with bulk size photos. Um, and then the next thing that we want to do is right here, there's a button or a blue text link that says add all text. Um, and in this instance, we're going to add doc trees. And then we're going to save all the alt text. Now, if we have multiple images for this particular product, then for the alt text, I can actually for the next one do maybe canine treat. <laughs> Um, if that's a keyword that's relevant to your products, just to add more keywords to, to your store and to your photos. Um, after doing that, um, and if you have variants, you can also assign pictures um, to different variants. So right now, if we don't assign a picture, um, this main image will be the one that gets assigned to, to all these. Um, if you have different images, um, you can um, assign different images to different variant, depending on the, on the size options. So let's say you're selling, um, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, tins, right? You're selling tins of maybe candy. Um, you have a small one, you have a medium one, you have a large one. Um, all these images, you can actually put them and assign them 
to each of those. And that will give, again, a better user experience when the customers are adding maybe a medium um, uh, size of 10 uh, for that particular product, it will actually show that image in there. Um, I think this will be uh, maybe more relevant if your variants are colors, right? Let's say you're selling t-shirts, you have red, blue, yellow, um, you can actually assign the yellow to the yellow product, um, et cetera. And that will actually showcase in their cart and during the checkout process, um, which will provide a better, um, uh, better user experience in general. Um, and I think that's, yeah, that's all we have for today um, as far as optimizing some of these images. One of the most important things again is the file size, just to make sure that um, these images load fast on everyone's uh, computers when they're loading your website and then adding alt text to these images, again, will help with keyword um, and people who are searching for these things. Um, it would absolutely help you. Um, and obviously just having multiple images as well per product um, will help you definitely in the long run. Um, and then especially with the user experience as well. And that's all for today. If you like this video, make sure that you hit that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, that will help us tremendously. And um, you actually can hit that bell button if you want to be notified anytime that we submit new Shopify tutorials uh, for you guys. And if you have any ideas on tutorials or things that you want to learn inside of Shopify, you can drop a comment below and let us know and we'll make that video for you.